Hi, Kristen, this is Angelica, and I'm gonna go over three things that you can do today that would help bring in more customers to your business. Um, Mark and I, we own our small business, and we just really wanna share these tips uh, with other business owners to really help out in these hard times. And we're sharing, uh, we wanna make sure we're sharing value. So if at the end of this video, you find it helpful, uh, if you wouldn't mind just replying or even call us, we'd love to to chat and, and make sure we're, we're giving you guys value. So it's three things. Uh, the first thing is content. So this is your homepage, your web page. Um, you want to have at least 1500 words to be optimized with Google. And throughout those 1500 words, you want buyer intent keywords. These are the actual words that consumers are searching in Google. Um, Google consumers are going to use Google for everything when it comes to businesses. So you really want your website found with the words that they're actually searching for. Um, so this is definitely a great site. I love the layout. Another thing you could do as a tip is to put uh, these pictures that you have saved, save them as the same buyer intent keywords. You want to almost look like you're the subject matter expert, like on life coaching. Maybe put some reviews, put some um, helpful tips. Um, those could also serve as backlinks. We'll get to that in just a sec. Um, but basically, uh, your ultimate goal would be to land on page one of Google typically. And in that, if you are showing Google that your you know people are using your site even as a reference as well, that gives you huge search engine power. So um, if we do look at that, let's say I know you're nationwide or worldwide, really pretty much, right? Um, these aren't going to necessarily be just the words from your lo local area. It could be from anywhere, but just to give you an idea what's what's in your local area, um, this is what's coming up if they do search for live coaching. Um, this is the map pack. So if regular consumer Joe is, you know, needing a live coach and he searches live coaching, this is what's going to come up. So those keywords are what you want throughout your site. Um, so for example, this particular, um, uh, competitor here, we'll look at, at their actual keywords so I can explain what we mean by those specific words. Um, the other thing is citations. That is a, uh, your business name, address, and phone number. When you register it in directories like Yelp.com, Yellowpages.com, even Better Business Bureau. Uh, that creates a citation and that's really one of the main reasons how Google gives you the authority to show up in the section. So you want to make sure those are built out. Uh, you want at least 200 um, and most businesses, they average maybe 20 to 30. Uh, some you have to pay for, some are free, but uh, of course we, keep, we help out with that with our clients as well. Um, the other important thing for that is it, not only because it can mean 20% of your business, right? Because that's how people are searching for your phone number, but also it can double as a backlink. And backlinks are huge search engine power that it gives your site. And we'll go over that in just a second. So um, that's one of the ways to rank here is with the citations give you good authority here. This section under the map pack is called the organic section. So the rate, the way to rank in that section is with keywords and backlinks. So we have a paid system that we use that shows more or less how your website's performing. So this is you, this is your website here. And if we go to your competitor site um, or uh, not their site, but the actual showings of what it, it shows for their site, they have 86 keywords throughout their site and 10 actual websites that are referring back to them. That's what's partly given them their, their search engine power. Throughout those 10 sites, they've got 31 backlinks built out. So the backlinks, they could be informational sites, guest posts, um, you know, even, um, what's the other one they use? Like guest posts, informational sites, and um, just any site that you can actually use as a reference, let's say you're, or, or blogs, you know, like you're talking about uh, life coaching, it's something specific, a subject with it, and 
you put, um, you know, a, a response in there and you can actually tag your, your actual website as a link in there, that will create some search engine power because when they click on that link, it comes back to your site. There's all different kinds. Uh, they're not all created equal. Some are spam, some don't actually, they're called a no-follow, so they don't give you any search engine power. So you really got to know what you're doing. At most businesses, they hire someone to do this for them. Um, it's, it's really tedious. Google has a lot of algorithms and rules. So, but like I said, backlinks and referring domains, that's huge engine power that you do want to set up along with your citations and the keywords. So the keywords here, like I was telling you about earlier, um, leaders eat, this is being searched 400 times a month. This was 250 times a month. So you mentioned uh, it's national, which is great. If we search for just live coaching, we can also help you optimize your site to where it's national. Again, you can do this yourself, but uh, you know, if you'd like our help, certainly reach out. Uh, we'd love to chat. Uh, so those are the main gist of it, like I was saying, in your area. It doesn't have to necessarily be just your area. We could, you know, also, you could also have these national keywords within your site. Um, so those are the biggest three things that we share of free tips. There's a lot more in depth. Like I said, Google's rules are outrageous. So you want to make sure you're doing the right thing. But um, like I said, this is something you could do on your own immediately. Um, but if, if you need more help, we, we'd love to, to help you out. I hope you found it informational and uh, thank you for your time.